Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series, your source for all the latest news and updates. Alright, it is Tuesday. As always, I'll be going over everything included in today's Red Dead Online update. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, today's update is a bit of a rough one. The theme this week is the Trader and the Moonshiner, which is a bit weird because those are the two most broken pieces of content in the game right now. The trader update is pretty broken through the camp that doesn't spawn, even when the camp does spawn and it shows on your map if you go to the location, sometimes the camp just literally is not there. And then there's the Moonshiner role that hasn't really worked since it launched back in December. Half of the time I'm losing my Moonshine, I'm black screening, the game isn't registering the sale, I'm not getting paid. There's just so many issues going on right now with the Moonshiner role. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like these glitches are becoming more prevalent. I'm encountering them more, I'm losing my moonshine more, and I log in and play Red Dead Online every single day to keep my daily streak, and I do all my daily challenges every day, and it's just something that's really frustrating to see this getting worse rather than better. But yeah, both of these business activities, if you are able to get them work, they're going to offer you 50% extra roll XP on all trader sale missions, resupply missions, trader free roam events, and also for moonshiner sale missions, Moonshiner Bootlegger missions, and the Moonshiner Story missions. This is only useful if you're not already maxed in your Moonshiner and Trader roles, as it's only going to be giving you a 50% boost to the roll XP, and not your character XP, and no bonus cash. The featured showdown series this week is the explosive variation of Name Your Weapon, earn extra points for eliminating your adversaries by employing the more combustible weapons in your loadout. This week's new location is the Wapiti Reservation in Amberino. Next up, let's go over the discounts this week in Red Dead Online. There is 60% off all of the saddles, which is a pretty good sale if you need to get any saddles for any of your additional horses. 30% off new, all new stable slots. 40% off of all roll belt buckles, glasses, eye patches, rings and gloves. 30% off all coats and 30% off the Moonshiner's Bar, the Band Expansion, and all cosmetic upgrades for the Moonshine property, so that includes bar themes, fittings, fixtures upgrades, and bar photos. If you don't already have those upgrades with the Moonshine Bar and Band Expansions, they are kind of helpful for getting some of the daily challenges, since sometimes you get a daily challenge for playing with the band for 2 minutes, or dancing for 2 minutes with the band, or even drinking some of your own moonshine from the bar can be a very easy daily challenge to knock off, and with 30% off, it's an easy buy. I think this week I'm going to purchase a bar theme so I can switch the bar themes whenever that one becomes a new daily challenge. Next up, the limited time clothing items. These are still available this week. I'm not going to go over and show all of these like I did in last week's video because it is the exact same items from last week. They were just extended for two weeks. If you do want to see exactly what all of these items look like in-game, feel free to watch my video from last week. But they include the plaid cap, the Falwell hat, the Guardiana hat, the Mac Bay jacket, Clemine coat, Cardozo vest, Carver pants, Griffith chaps, and Pelt half chaps. But yeah, as you can see guys, a pretty bare bones update this week. I'm actually starting to wonder if Rockstar are even able to release the next update into Red Dead Online since we've still heard nothing about it. Especially if the new update still requires new voice acting or motion capture work. These are things that most likely cannot be done during this current time. A lot of these studios are probably completely closed down due to the pandemic, so they maybe can't even progress with the development of the next update. We've already heard through the reports at Rockstar Games regarding GTA 6 that production on that game has slowed down during the current pandemic, so it is quite likely that um, production on GTA Online updates and Red Dead Online updates have also really slowed down during this time. So we could potentially have a bit of a weight on our hands, guys. If you are new to my channel and you want to be kept up to date with all the latest Red Dead Online news and updates, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as this series covers all of the breaking updates. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Today's video is brought to you by So You Want To Be A YouTuber. This is your ultimate strategy guide to branding, building viewership momentum, and monetizing a YouTube channel with as little as a thousand subscribers. It's beautifully printed in full color and is now available on Amazon paperback and Kindle. 
Check out the link in the description or search so you want to be a YouTuber on your local Amazon store and you can even preview it for free. 